Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and this is going to be my Let's Guide to Characters and Monsters for Disgaea 4 Complete Plus. There are three types of characters. You have the story characters, the human or humanoid characters, and the monster characters. The story characters are unlocked as you run through the story. The only exception to that are DLC characters, and I will have to cover those on one-off videos so that I can go over each one of those. Monster characters are unlocked by beating them and then beating the map that they are on. You have to complete the map to unlock them. This can be done as part of the story or by going back and rerunning some of the previous maps that you've already beaten. Now for the human humanoid My lord, characters. your orders. There are requirements to unlocking each one, and I will go over those in a bit. But after you've gone through that process of meeting the requirements, you then have to go to the you have to go to the campaign manager, and then you have to call a Senate hearing. As you can see on the screen, I am calling a Senate hearing for unlocking the Huntress. The Huntress is actually an archer. And to do that, you need to get the Senate to give you the eyes instead of the nays. So bring items that will help you convince any of the senators that are opposed to you passing the bill. And once the bill is passed, you go back to call another Senate hearing and you create a new character and they will be in the list of characters you can create from this point forward. Alright, with all that said, now let's get into what you need to do for each individual class or character to get them into the list of possible Senate hearings and bills that you can pass. The first thing I should discuss is there are starting characters that you start with automatically. They are the Warrior, the Valkyrie, the Skull or Magician, the Witch or Mage, the Healer, and the Thief. Those are the starting characters. So remember with the rest of these you're going to have to unlock them and then pass the bill. So I'm not going to say you have to pass the bill every time. It's gonna, you just have to know that up front. For the Archer, you need a Healer and Valkyrie to level 15 or higher. To unlock the Armored Knight, you need a Warrior to level 20 or higher. For the Gunner, you need to raise a Thief and a Skull to level 15 or higher. To unlock the ninja, you have to get a skull and a thief to level 30 or higher. For the beastmaster, you need a warrior or a valkyrie to level 15 or higher. For lady samurai, you need a valkyrie and an archer to level 30 or higher. To unlock a sorcerer, you need to get a magician or a, sorry, a magician and a witch to level 15 or higher. For the Professor, you need to get a Healer and a Sorcerer to level 20 or higher. The Magic Knight is a Warrior or Valkyrie and a Magician or Witch to reach level 30 or higher. To unlock the Masked Hero, you need a Thief and a Warrior to level 25 or higher. For an Onmyo Monk, I'm probably saying that wrong, you need a Sorcerer and a Ninja to level 30 or higher. Alright, for these last three, they're a little more complicated, so uh, we're going to take our time with each one of them. And we're going to start with the Bouncer, because from what I understand from reading online and from the guides that I have seen, you can obtain the Bouncer by just going through the story and... Um, It'll unlock automatically. Let me see if I can figure out which. It says chapter 7 is what you need to beat to unlock him. But another way you can unlock him supposedly is getting your heavy knight to level 100. I haven't verified either of these methods. That's just what I'm, I'm reading. So I will have to do that. And if there's something else happens, I'll put it down in the comment. Now, the battle suit is probably the most confusing one on its unlock conditions 
in the guide it says warriors are a starting class what's that got to do with the battle suit uh, it's hard to say all right so what i'm reading online is you have to go through chapter eight using a level 30 warrior and armored knight in your party actively i don't know what that means exactly to unlock the battle suit and i don't think i ever unlocked the battle suit before when i beat the game so this is one that i'll have to go through and probably make a separate video on especially if it's if what i'm saying is wrong so if anybody knows please put that down in the comment and let everybody else know and then we'll all be on the same page thank you to unlock the android you need to beat the story all the way through you don't have to do the end game content but then you have to be able to do a new cycle or new game plus and then you'll unlock the android i know a lot of people don't like this um, it's just the way that the game is and ha a lot of the Disgaea games have been like this. Alright, that concludes all the classes I'm going to cover in this video. There are some other classes and characters that you can unlock that I will cover in other videos because they're not as straightforward as this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So until next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz out.